Now uh, this video is a continuation of the one that I was I, I previously had uh, the one save always saved question mark and no. Um, yeah, it's a continuation because I, I I felt that I didn't really you know convey the full message because I was short on time and there was so much to talk about. So I'm just gonna continue. Um, where I wanted to continue was you know I want to talk to you about the parable of the wise and the foolish virgins you know this is this, this one is in Matthew chapter 25 and Jesus is telling the them a story uh, a parable to the people about entering the kingdom of God and if we read it we'll just read it together um, chapter 25 verse 1 then the kingdom of heaven shall be likened to ten virgins who took their lamps and went out to meet the bridegroom second now five of them were wise and five were foolish third those who were foolish took their lamps and took no oil with them but the wise took oil in their vessels with their lamps uh, but the but while the bridegroom was delayed they all slumbered and slept at, and at midnight a cry was heard behold the bridegroom is coming go out to meet him then all those virgins arose and trimmed their lamps and the foolish said to the wise give us some of your oil for our lamps are going out but the wise answered saying no there should not be enough for us and you why don't you go buy and sell and buy buy for yourselves and while they went out to buy the bridegroom came and those who were ready went out went out went in with them to the wedding and the door was shut afterwards the other virgins came also saying lord Lord, open to us. But he answered and said, Assuredly, I say to you, I do not know you. Watch therefore, for you know neither the day nor the hour in which the Son of Man is coming. Now, I'll tell you what what it what it means. I'm I'm, I'm not going to tell you. I by the inspiration of the Holy Spirit, um, it seems as if the lamps and the oil represents prayer. Those who prayed diligently were prepared. Had the had the they were filled with the Holy Spirit, and they were filled with the oil, which which sim symbolizes the Holy Spirit, because they have always been praying. They are always filled with the Holy Spirit. Now those foolish um, virgins are talk. All these virgins are talking about Christians. They're not just talking about worldly people, because worldly people wouldn't wait for Jesus. And they, they, they wouldn't wait for the bridegroom, which is Jesus, in, in this parable. And, you know, they're all waiting, the, all the Christians are waiting for the coming of the Lord Christ, as we are all waiting, you know. And there are people who pray every day and are being filled with the Holy Spirit. And, and are, all, are always in repentance, asking for, you know, help and seeking the Lord and, and, and having communion with God. And those people... Jesus Christ says, I know you. To those pe those other carnal Christians who are living the world, doing sins and whatnot, you know, they don't know they don't really know God, neither the Lord knows them. And this this life is established with fervent prayer life every day, asking for forgiveness, forgiving other people. You have to forgive other people no matter what they did to you. No matter what they did to you. Just bless them back, just forget them. Just ask the Lord to help you to forgive them. I know it's hard. I, I had to let go of my sister, you know, who put me in jail once. And yeah, I, I went to jail, you know, for my sister. And it was, it was because she felt bitter and she just, oh, yeah, whatever. I don't want to talk about it. Anyway, I had to forgive and let go of those people too. And, you know, it's very important that you have to forgive. Because unless you, you, you forgive other people, your sins cannot be forgiven. So ask the Lord today, if you, if you have a hard time forgiving others, ask the Lord today to, to please, please give them to me a mind to forgive. And please help me to forgive. And, I, and even with just my words, I forgive them in the name of Jesus. I forgive and forget those people uh, who have done wrong to me in the name of Jesus. It's better for you to be saved than go to hell because of those people you used to hate. You know, wouldn't be wouldn't it suck to go to hell with them, or they might won't go to heaven and you not because you never forgave them, although they they were wrong, although you were right. So just forgive and forget them. My my mom had a hard time forgiving others, but 
you know, because she's been through so much. And I know it, I know it's hard, but you, you have to, you must do it, because Jesus already forgave all your sins. We, we did a lot of faults too. And um, let's go back to the page uh, thing. And, uh, and you know, pretty much the wise, wise people, you know, were prepared with the oil of the Holy, the, being filled with the Holy Spirit, so their lamp was still burning. And the other people, you know, had to go buy, go buy, you know, like, you know, they went to buy oil. And then, meanwhile, Jesus came and then raptured those people who were waiting for him, for his return. And, you know, he came at midnight, right? The bridegroom came at around midnight, you know, all of a sudden, a cry was heard, Behold, the bridegroom is coming, go out to meet him. You know, midnight symbolizes darkness, and at the time, is the the world is going to be very like dark. And um, out of the clouds, he's going to come out of the clouds from this darkness, because the the earth will be covered with you know with darkness. I don't know. It means spiritually, it could be spiritual darkness, which we are in, or it could be like real darkness, where you know, a whole bunch of chaos is going on, and you know, everybody's just going crazy. So it could, it could go two ways. And at the time when everybody's going crazy, I mean, spiritually the world is already dark. And no one, it says on verse 13, Watch therefore, for ye know neither the day nor the hour in which the Son of Man is coming. Uh, the, the world is so wicked today. I mean, you, you see around, you know, so much wickedness going on. It's very easy to, for you to be influenced and be in the world. Now we must stay away from this and with a with the lantern of light that shines upon us, the, the lantern that they were holding, that the, the light shines out of it. The light is Christ. They dearly hold that light of Christ, igniting with the oil, which is the prayer life, the sanctified holiness life, being righteous, living righteous every day, seeking the Lord every day, praying to God for forgiveness every day. See that that lantern. Now the Holy Spirit is giving me inspiration. Now that lantern. You know, holds a light. The light is Christ, God. Like God says, I am the light of the world. And, you know, right? So, the, the lantern, the oil, symbolizes your sanctification and your prayer life. So, we have to always seek the Lord, you know, asking every day, pray every day. I pray personally at least two hours a day. I, I, I hope everybody at least pray, prays two hours a day. The Lord told somebody, um, my, one of my friends, he's a He's a strong Christian too. He told them, "You're a thief," and he said, "Why am I a thief? I didn't steal anything. I pay my tithes." And he said, "Because you do not, you do not um, give your ten percent of your time to me." And oh, he he, he realized all oh, ten percent of his time is about two point twenty four minutes, uh, two hours and twenty four minutes a day. You know, you have to you have to read the Bible or pray. I mean spend time with the Lord every day and he said because he didn't do that God called him a thief because uh, yeah and you know I'm not I'm not expecting anybody it's hard to pray for that long or read the Bible that long it's, it's hard to do that commitment but at least try your best and ask the Lord to give you time that's how you should pray ask the Lord to give us time to pray in the name of Jesus and um, I want to end it with a prayer uh, lift, lift all your hands you know, just just with faith that the Lord is watching you, uh, and just pray with me, oh, Father God Almighty. We come to you in the name of Jesus Christ, our Savior, um, that you you will keep us safe and give us give us the mind to pray every day and to ask for forgiveness of our sins, because we know without your grace we cannot keep ourselves safe. We need to hold on to the rope of grace. And we, we ourselves need to hold on to the rope of grace. Or else, you know, we'll be, we'll be lost into the world. So Lord, please give unto us the mind to seek the Lord and keep us saved with your Holy Spirit by us with prayer and sanctification and holiness. I pray all the people to be saved too. Save our families, save our friends, save the people we know, save the world, Lord Father God. Save those atheists and unbelief unbelieving Christians or you know worldly Christians carnal Christians Lord please keep them saved and convict us in the name of Jesus amen, amen.